april seventeenth st stephen harding he was the third abbot of citeaux and he was born in sherborne england about the middle of the eleventh century and died on the twenty eighth of march in eleven thirty four he received his early education in the monastery of sherborne and after studied in paris and rome he spoke english norman french and latin on returning from rome he stopped at the monastery of Molsome, and being much impressed by the holiness of st robert the abbot joined that community here he practised great austerities and became one of st robert's chief supporters and was one of the band of twenty-one monks who by authority of hugh archbishop of lyon retired into citeaux to institute a reform in the new foundation there when st robert was recalled to molsome in the year ten ninety nine stephen became prior of citeaux under albrecht the new abbot on Albrecht's death in the year 1110, Stephen, who was absent from the monastery at the time, was elected abbot. The number of monks was now very reduced, as no new members had come to fill the places of those who had died. Stephen, however, insisted on retaining the strict observance originally instituted, and, having offended the Duke of Burgundy, Citeaux's great patron, by forbidding him or his family to enter the cloister, was even forced to beg alms from door to door it seemed as if the foundation were doomed to die out when in the year eleven twelve st bernard with thirty companions joined the community this proved the beginning of the extraordinary prosperity the next year stephen founded his first colony at la ferte and before his death he established thirteen monasteries in all his powers as an organizer were exceptional he instituted the system of general chapters and regular visitations, and, to ensure uniformity in all his foundations, drew up his famous Charter of Charity, which officially organized the Cistercians into an order. Stephen Harding died in the year 1134, advanced in age and nearly blind, and having served as abbot of Citeaux for twenty-five years. Stephen was buried in the tomb of Albrecht, his predecessor, in the cloister of Citeaux. In the Roman calendar, his feast is April 17th, but the Cistercians themselves keep it on the 15th of July, regarding him as the true founder of their order.